What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader. I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, we're going to jump right into the market. just want to give you a market update here, uh, looking at the Elliott Wave count and uh, of, of what's going on and where our potential targets could be. Uh, guys, uh, I'm still operating on the assumption and the and the idea that, that we're dealing with a fractal here. Um, a very large, a large comparison fractal uh, to uh, this particular wave right there. Okay, um, this was a very, very choppy and very corrective type wave, guys. Uh, very similar here to uh, this this wave right there. Uh, and then we got this 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 pullback right here. That was pretty deep. That was the March uh, the March dump there. My cat's back there. Uh, <laughs> just just a whine in there. Um, anyway, that being said, uh, it looks uh, looks very very similar, guys. Uh, let me talk about what I'm seeing here, and let me show you uh, the uh, uh, ideas here. So you can kind of just look at the shape of this. Uh, well, try it again here you can kind of just look at the shape of this wave right here uh, at the top we got a, we got an initial dump we got we got kind of a pullback here that that entire shape right there uh, is just have been replicated uh, right here there's a slight difference here in that this is a one two one two um, so this isn't a one two one two uh, as far as uh, like this one was at the very very top but it's very very similar in shape okay uh, then we've got the big we began the move down, began the move down, it paused, and then it continued on down. That's what we're waiting on. We're waiting for the continuation move um, soon. Okay, that's that's what I'm anticipating. All right. Um, so uh, where where could it go? Uh, well, wh what we do always is that we pull the fibs on, on the move and we say, okay, uh, where are some likely targets and, and how would we count it? So let me give you a couple targets of where we could be going uh, if this is the right way to look at this market. Okay, you can see how we've hit the one, uh, 618 extension here. Uh, one might argue uh, and say, hey, this is one, two, three, four, and we're going to get five. Uh, I don't argue that. This a uh, couple reasons. Uh, number one, the shape and the shape of the waves just doesn't make sense for that. That's just not the sh shape of an impulse in general. Number two, this broke uh, the level of the one, the bottom of the one right there. So uh, we've got an invalidation point. I'm actually counting this as a one, two, and then this is the one, two of the next wave, which is pretty bearish look at this guys it's a pretty bearish look okay uh what it would mean uh pretty devastating to the bitcoin count or to the bitcoin price here um is that we would be heading down the just the third wave count okay one two three four five that would just be <clears throat> that would just be an idea of of what the third wave would look like in other words let me go zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Uh, we're, we'd be looking at this. One, two. All of that would be three, four, five. Okay, that's that's gonna get us. That's gonna get us down. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. That's if this is a one, two, one, two. Okay, that's uh, that's the bearish. That's the bearish look at that. <laughs> now uh, we are. Uh, over uh well actually we're, we're not quite oversold yet we've got plenty of room to work here uh shoot even even on this dump uh right up here we came down even lower in the rsi um and then it uh, and it reset uh just up to the top here i'm just kind of showing you the comparison of this move here so when the, uh, this came down here this is where it came to and then when when this came up it created hidden bull hidden bearish divergence okay um, I should say hidden bearish divergence right there and there, um, and it only reset to the top of uh, you know my purple line there, which is I think seventy, sitting at seventy. Okay, so this came down uh, here um, in, in in this dump, and then as it came back up, okay, it reset at the same location. Okay, um, and then as um, now here's the interesting thing: that price hasn't uh, hasn't broken this low yet, like the price broke it uh, on the downward move. It's moving a little slow, but uh, nevertheless, I think we're going to get 
a fairly a fairly strong move to the downside soon. I think it's coming. Uh, and I think it's going to be like like this. I think it's going to um, has a strong chance of, of being like that. What would that mean for the larger count? Um, let me just zoom out and tell you what. Uh, there we go. Uh, for the larger count, guys, uh, basically. Um, It would imply a potential lower low uh, coming down here. Um, the the count here is unclear. Uh, I've got to work on that yet. Uh, if that hypothesis is correct, I've still got to do some work on that. So I'll bring a video on that uh, coming soon. Um, but I've got some ideas, but I don't want to I don't want to share them in a discombobulated way right now. Um, so th that being said, sorry about that, guys. Um, we'll we'll come back to that in a, in a later video. I want to take a peek at that um, <clears throat> and see where we're headed. So that's the bearish view, guys. We're 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 heading down um, from. From that perspective, now the bull, the bulls are saying uh, that this is a flat right here. Okay, that this is a flat, and uh, we're we're on the way up here. That this is some kind of a maybe a leading diagonal or something like that. Uh, I just don't buy it. This is coming down impulsively um, from the top, um, waiting on five waves to be made. Let me uh, zoom in just a little bit here and uh, and uh, take a peek at uh, this wave right here. So you can see we have a one two. Uh, right here, very easy to see. We've got a five wave move and then we've got a pull back here. Uh, we've hit the 1618 extension, so that's a third wave. We're putting in the fourth here and now we're on our way down for the fifth wave. Um, shoot, the third wave may not even be finished, to be honest with you. This might be the fourth wave of the third. In other words, uh, get off my screen. Sorry about that, guys. Um, one, two, three might come all the way down here, four and five, like that. Um, let me get it over here so you can see it. So, uh, yeah, it's it's strong potential that you know we're we're coming down, coming down to that region. Okay, uh, that region uh, just to give you an idea. The next stop, the next fib is ninety eight hundred. Um, you know, just just on this particular wave. So, waiting on that, guys. That's what we're looking at. Um, that's my take. That's 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 where I am right now. Unless. Unless I get any uh, some kind of push uh, to the upside that I'm not expecting, I'm not looking for. Because the market doesn't do what I expect, right? I'm just trying to read the market. I'm trying to say, okay, what do I see? Uh, what's this market doing compared to how does, this, how does Bitcoin move in the past? Uh, what is the Elliott Wave count now? What is the wave shape I can anticipate? That's the way I operate. Uh, and this is what I'm, this is my bias right now. I am currently short. I'm very happy in my short right now. And uh, we're, um, you know, going to continue to hold that guy until uh, the market says don't hold it anymore. So until then, we're going to hold this thing uh, short for a while. All right, guys. So I just wanted to kind of give you a market update, just kind of show you what I've seen in the market and just kind of say, hey, hey, listen, uh, potential, strong potential for the downside coming uh, with a very, very big move uh, in, in the works. Okay. All right. You guys have a great day. Uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.